the Miley Cyrus Show with me, Miley Cyrus. I got gifts and a show, and I'm ready to go. So I guess that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. special baby girl. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> okay, so today from my comedy monologue, I thought I'd do one of my famous celebrity impressions. So I'm gonna do an impression and see if you can guess who it is. Hey, so I'm like the star of Two and a Half Men and I'm completely crazy, and I've done a bunch, done a bunch of interviews lately and all of that, and I'm Charlie Shane, y'all! <laughs> okay, so that was me doing an impression of Charlie Sheen. I thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> I love your impressions, baby. You're like a pretty little Daryl Hammond. So whatever, Dad. So, my guest tonight is a lot like me, by which I mean pretty cool. Please welcome, you guessed it, Justin Bieber! <laughs> hey, Justin! So, Miley, uh, it's a cool show. Really? Yeah, we'll see. Okay. So, Justin, what have you been up to lately? You know, I'm just, I'm just chilling right now. Wink. Talking on <laughs> point. Wow. Justin Bieber, where do you get all of those cool moves? You know, I uh, brought my swagger coach. <laughs> Thanks, Bebop. That's pretty cool. Wait a minute. Justin Bieber, did you cut your hair? Yeah, you know, it's just uh, it's an image change. I also do the middle finger now, so. <laughs> So you're growing up, like me, doing salvia. Did you know I smoked salvia? You know, well, there's no reason why you wouldn't. Because it's totally legal, yo. <laughs> now, Justin, I knew you were going to be a big star ever since we met way back in 2006. We actually have a picture from that day. Can we show it? <laughs> So, how do you like the show so far, Justin? It's okay. Would you say it's pretty cool? No, actually, I, I, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Mexican standoff. The Mexicans were tiny talented geniuses. Mr. Cyrus. Dad! So, Justin Bieber. There is something I have always wanted to ask you. Like, what is your favorite album, and what is Canada like, and do you speak Canadian, and does Usher have to seat people at his own concerts because he's an Usher, and do you really <laughs> never say never, and have you gone through puberty? All I have to say to that is, uh, wink, chin. Now, Justin, you recently released a 3D movie about your life called Never Say Never, which is really cool, because I just made my own 3D movie about my life and how I got started, and let's say a clip. Is she awake? Hey, Milo, how's my little angel baby? Oh, my God. This is, like, so insightful, because I'm just a baby, but I'm already, like, so talented and stuff like that, and this is, like, super cool home video footage, and this is also Goo Goo Gaga in 3D. <laughs> What did you think? I thought it was pretty cool. I mean, uh, you know, it was, it, was, it was cool. Well, that's our show, everybody. Come on, Justin, hit it, Dan. I got gas and a show, and we're ready to go. So I guess that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Show, and I'm ready to go, so I guess
Yes, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Hello, it's Molly, y'all. So, this is like my show where I like talk to people who are pretty cool and will like talk about things I think are pretty cool. And yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Heading up the Miley Cyrus band over here, we got my dad, Billy Ray Cyrus. Miley, you are an absolute sunshine. It is just nuts how special you are. You are like God's gift. Okay, Dad. Thank you. Okay, so now I'm gonna do like my comedy monologue. So I don't know if y'all saw, but like there's a study that like only 5% of French people go to the gym. So I thought that was pretty funny because like 5%, that's a pretty small number of people go to the gym. <laughs> so that's my monologue. I thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> Oh, baby, you are hilarious. You, you are like a pretty little George Lopez. Okay. So, my guest tonight is a really serious actor and stuff like that, and now I'm a serious actor and stuff like that, so this will be pretty cool. Please give a big shello to Johnny Depp. <laughs> Okay. So, Johnny Depp, you play a creepy guy a lot, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, yes, I uh, enjoy exploring some, uh, some darker characters. Yeah, me too. So, I... <laughs> I've been a fan of yours going, like, all the way back. Like, all the way back to Willy Wonka. And there's... <laughs> there's something that I always wanted to ask you. Like... How do you pick out which movies you're gonna do? And like, what's your favorite movie you ever did? Or like, what's your favorite role you ever did? Or like, who's your best friend? Or like, how tall are you? And like, what eyeliner do you wear? And like, are you American? Well, that's uh, kind of a lot to process. <laughs> Look out, Depp. My baby girl wants some answers. She's come to get them. Damn. You make me smile. So, Johnny Depp. Like, what is your next movie that's coming out? Uh, actually, uh, Tim Burton and I are working on a, uh, a haunting adaptation of Goodnight Moon. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. So, like, let's roll the clip. Oh, uh, I, I, I didn't bring a clip. Uh... No, it's a clip from my movie. Uh, I think you're gonna like it because it's, like, really dramatic. Let's roll that clip. When you miss me, just think of that old oak tree out in the yard and remember my promise. This is so sad because, like, you're my boyfriend and, like, we just fell in love and stuff like that. And it's, like, so dramatic because you're going off to war and stuff like that. And this is just, like, so not cool. <laughs> so, that was, like, pretty cool, right? Okay, well, that's our show. I thought it was pretty cool. Is that it? I flew here from the south of France. Oh, my God. I love France. Did you know that only, like, 5% of French people go to the gym? <laughs> Remember that? This is from my monologue. That's pretty funny. Well, thanks for watching, y'all. Come on, man. Let's hit it. I got guests and a show, and we're ready to go. So I guess that's pretty cool. The Miley Cyrus Show with me, Miley Cyrus. I got guests and a show, and I'm ready to go. So I guess that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Hello, it's Molly, y'all. So this is like my show where I like talk to people who are pretty cool, and we'll like talk about things I think are pretty cool, and yeah. share the stage with my baby girl. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> okay, so, like, I thought I'd do something new.
you in my comedy monologue this week. So this is my little sister, Smiley, and she's going to help me with my comedy monologue. Hey, Smiley, did you know that the average American woman spends 20 hours doing holiday shopping? 20 hours? That's like a full day. That's crazy. I know. It's crazy, right? <laughs> that was me doing the voice of Smiley, y'all. <laughs> she's not my sister. She's actually a puppet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you had me fooled, sweetie. I talked to Smiley for a half hour backstage. <laughs> I thought she was just shy. <laughs> Man, she knock it off. Okay, so, as y'all probably heard, I'm sexy now. So, we're gonna do a segment now wh where we show pictures of me being sexy. Like, here's one of me getting steamy with a male model. Here's one of me doing like a sexy, flirty wink. Here's one of me doing a sexy pose with a snake like Britney Spears. <laughs> and here's me as Sharon Stone in Basic Instinct. <laughs> That's pretty sexy, right? Woo! My little girl's growing up. <laughs> so, my guest tonight is a very sexy lady, just like me. So please give a big shello to Katie Holmes. <laughs> You used to be on a show called Dawson's Creek back in the 1900s. <laughs> so that must have been pretty cool. Oh, it was... <laughs> Great. My character, Joey, was such a joy to play. On the surface, she just seemed like another cute, popular girl, but... <sighs> Beneath it, she was this incredibly complicated and intelligent woman. Yeah, like me. So, there is something I've always wanted to ask you. Like, how did you transition into doing more adult roles? And, like, what's the sexiest role you've ever done? And, like, how many boys have you kissed on screen? And, like, who's your best friend? And, like, who's Tom Cruise's best friend? And why does your baby wear high heels? And what does Jesus think of Scientology? Wow. That is such an interesting array of complex questions. Great job, baby. You're like a pretty little Regis. Dad? Hey, hey, you're my role model. So, Katie Holmes, you played Batman's girlfriend in the first ever Batman movie in 2005 which is pretty cool, because I just auditioned to play his girlfriend in the next ba Batman movie. So, like, do you want to see my screen test? Sure, okay. Okay, that's... let's roll that clip. We need to get out of here. This whole place is going to blow. Oh, my God. This is so scary and suspenseful and stuff like that. And I'm in, like, all this danger and stuff like that. And you're like Batman, so you're kind of like a bat, and you're kind of like a hot guy. So it's, like, really sexy, and it's really scary, and it's really suspenseful, and I might die. So, what do you think? Yeah, there is a lot of... <sighs> Interesting complexity there. And my Oscar goes to my baby girl. <laughs> I mean, you melt my heart. My achy, breaky heart. Well, that's our show. My thanks to Katie Holmes. Thank you. <laughs> the pleasure was...